பெரியார் Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're not new here, if you are new here, my name is Monisha. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is my off day. I'm not going to work today. I have the next two days off. Not the next two days, this day and tomorrow. Yesterday was the 4th of July. I actually had the 4th of July off this year. So that was cool. I didn't film anything just because life has been lifing. Um, all the kids are here, not all of them. We got one more that will be coming soon, maybe in this vlog maybe in the next one but yeah my son is coming from new york with his dad so we're gonna have a full house guys five boys up in this house and me right now we have four and it's summertime nobody's going to school they're here all day so this is why i have not been on the vlog first of all the noise level in here is abs absurd the only reason it's kind of this quiet i have the door closed couch is probably gonna start banging soon i can hear them yelling i'm hoping the camera's not picking up on this but i just i hear the chaos out there it's a chaos fucking vlog because that's that's what the whole summer entails for me chaos fucking chaos going to the lake for on the 4th of july what's for uh boys what's chaos in it in its fucking self going to the lake on 4th of july just as adults is chaotic itself because of the amount of people and stuff but with the four fucking kids especially an infant well not even an infant he's like an infant slash toddler which is the worst an infant would have been fine he would have slept most of the time but going with the almost two year old absurd okay and then the four year old absurd the older boys <laughs> they were okay you know they go off and do their own thing but like trying to keep up with it was a mess okay it was fine but it was a mess look speaking of here he's about to open my fucking door right now watch i told you i didn't even get five minutes to film See, he's, gonna, he's gonna start yelling he doesn't want anything it's just the fact that i closed the door that's too much for him so uh <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to come on here and start the introduction somewhat quietly, but welcome to the shit show. Let's get into it. So just to catch you guys up on what's been going on, like I said, most of the kids are here now. So we got our other son here. He came in actually just this Monday. Today's Friday. He's only been here. This is the fifth day he's been here. And this particularly was a very big moment and I filmed it. vlogging but I filmed it just uh, for our family members because like I said it was a big moment because my my boyfriend had was not able to see this child his son in um, nine years due to unfortunate you know circumstances and things that went down and so we had like this little surprise party and everything but I'm just really happy I'm really thankful I'm really blessed we prayed and we prayed and prayed a lot about this this situation and it's finally here and then when my son gets here uh, sometime this week too this will be the first time we have all been together our entire extended family five kids and us too and I'm gonna make sure we take a family photo that's mandatory i'm gonna make sure you know we do all kinds of things because yeah this is the first time we've literally all been together so i am so happy i've been it's been a chaotic week but it's been good so as far as what i got planned for today i have a meditation session with um my psychic so i don't know if i've mentioned this in the vlog probably not because i don't see her regularly but me and my boyfriend we regularly go to um, a psychic spirit 
spiritual advisor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've been going to her now, I say for the past three and a half, almost four years. And it has been a long time since I had a session with her. So last week we had a session with her and, and it had been like a whole more than half a year since we had seen her. And we went to her because there was just a lot going on and we we just uh, wanted that situation to go well. We wanted some insights on things in life. And then I had situations going on in my family life that I needed clarity on all kinds of stuff. So it was a really good reading that I had with her. I got a lot, you know, we, we talked about a lot, but she also suggested to me that I go do this like meditation workshop with her because when she saw me, like she said, like my spirit, she didn't even recognize me. It didn't even look like me. And that's true because I had gotten to the, I was, I was so, how do I say this? So far mentally gone, like not okay mentally that she could tell right away. And that's why I made it a point to go see her and the funny thing is like with all this going on we have we've had so much going on that i didn't even, we didn't even have money due to a bunch of bullshit happening you know when it rains it pours back to back to back to back to back so we had had this session with her and it, it got down to the day and we weren't going to be able to afford to go because like we literally didn't even have enough money to go but something in my spirit told me like no like I need I need to go to her so I I even went to the I went to the fucking pawn shop to take something to go get some money because I needed to go fucking see her like it was, it was that bad and right away she recognized that I was I was not mentally okay but I'm now I'm feeling a lot more better a lot lot better she did you know she healed my chakras and stuff and that's why stuff like this self-care is important I felt like us going to the spiritual advisor or the psychic sometimes that's like therapy for me that's my healing for me that is me figuring things out getting my mental health intact and that was that's like the best 75 dollars um for 30 minutes that I'll, I'll ever spend on anything in my life and honest and we did actually an hour and this is i love the psychic that we go to because a lot of times i only pay her for like a 30 minute reading but it ends up going on like we sat there for like a good hour and 15 minutes because i was so bad like she did a whole healing on me on top of like talking with me through everything that she was seeing going on that I knew was going on obviously but she saw all the problems I was having and it's funny because she kind of told me that sometimes I need to just say fuck it and I had to realize that about myself like I'm a Virgo I always want to help people fix situations I want things to be harmonious I want life to be beautiful but the thing is this is real fucking life shit's not most of the time shit is not harmonious most of the time shit is not just smooth sailing you know um and it's not that i'm being negative but literally like this is life life happens every day every day is a new day every day you're gonna face a challenge every day so but i was like i couldn't catch a break and i was mentally worried about like seven seven different situations but a lot of them they weren't necessarily directly my problems you know like it was family problems um with my like my parents my sis my siblings those having problems and then it was like problems with um the co-parenting and the other parents and you know things that i i i kind of can try and do something about but but not really you can't control other people you can't control what other people are gonna do and that's basically what she was telling me like you you really you just gotta say fuck it some things you have to say fuck it and trust in the god and the universe and she's right because i can't allow myself to get that far mentally gone again i we'll also have a bunch of packages i've been waiting to open the packages with you guys to show you guys these things so that's another thing that i haven't done let me see what i have so this first thing are these bento boxes by Care It Up. And this is so cool, you guys. I'll show you the front and the back. Yeah, so they are customizable kids lunchbox. It has like stickers for customization. It even contains like little motivational cards that you can put in there for the kids lunch and stuff like that. But yeah, it's BPA free, microwave and dishwasher safe. And the kids are gonna love these. Um, I want to save them for her when school starts. So honestly, I may or may not use them, but I did get these for 
content purposes and um oh yeah i do have a discount code and a link for you guys for this but because i got this for content purposes um i probably am going to use it at least once just to create a reel and stuff for the brand but i am excited to use these for the school year so after i create that or whatever i'm going to put them back in their box and i'm going to use these for the school year totally so thank you to care it up thank you to care it up for sending these to me super excited for that secondly I got some CBD gummies, guys. And actually, speaking of my mental health, I'm telling you, God be looking out for me the long way <laughs> because these came like right in time. Because, like I said, my mental health has not been the best, and the smoking is not working, drinking is not working. I don't want to have to do those substances, anyways, to be mentally well. But these CBD gummies are natural. And I have not ever really used CBD. I'm not going to lie. I'm a THC user. But CBD, there's so many healing properties with CBD. I've read up on it. I just never practiced it or tried it or, you know, did anything new enough about it. But I am definitely excited to try these. So this brand is called Cornbread. I think that's so funny. And apparently it's like a, a city in Kentucky. But yeah, um, I got the 750 milligrams. There's 30 in each. This is the peach flavor. I also got a berry flavor and watermelon. I got peach, berry, and watermelon. Okay. Where tradition meets science. So cornbread hemp proudly represents more than 250 years of Kentucky hemp tradition. It's family owned, vertically integrated. Every cornbread product is handcrafted in-house from our proprietary hemp genetics. And it's vegan. And it's full spectrum. So I, upon reading their website and learning about this company, I found out that some CBD is broad spectrum, broad spectrum and some are full spectrum. There's our full spectrum. Full spectrum means they don't take out the THC. So it has a 0.3% THC, which, you know, that's not even half of 1%. But the fact that they don't take all the THC out is what makes it full spectrum as opposed to broad spectrum. And they were saying that this is why their products work better. And I believe that because I'm sorry, like I said, I am a THC user. THC itself has, has many benefits. So the fact fact that they take that out when CBD and THC are known to work together pretty good and then you take it all out like so you're you're missing some of the benefits pretty much pretty much but at cornbread hemp they don't do that so I'm actually excited to try these gummies because I have tried CBD before but it just didn't do enough for me to buy it again I'm like I'm not paying for something that I don't I don't feel like it did anything when I can just go to the cannabis club you know and get something that I know is gonna work so I'm excited to try these go ahead put these on my shelf i think that's it for now i feel like there was something else oh i already opened it though <laughs> and this is this uh ceremonia guava leave-in conditioner uh from the brand ceremonia once again this i'm excited to try i'm excited to try it on my locks because now that my locks are growing i've been actually wearing them out and it's so freaking hot they've been getting so dry and they're always dry in general because i'm just not someone who moisturizes hair like i hate doing hair but lately i've been you know putting my little spray on it moisturizing them so i'm gonna try the leave-in conditioner love that so i wet my hair put it in and i'll make a reel about this i didn't go out there because i hear the chaos i hear the chaos i'm excited for my meditation session today because i need it though and and that's also what my psychic suggested she was like you need to do this meditation course with me actually i think i was supposed to tell you that's how i got started talking about the psychic in general yeah because i'm going to this meditation thing i just got completely sidetracked talking about a bunch of other shit but that's why i'm going to this meditation thing to learn how to relax my mind okay guys i'm heading to my appointment i'm excited i'm excited for this because I'm just excited um, to learn these meditation techniques and basically, you know, how to heal myself. And I really hope that I can apply these principles to my life. I'm not going to talk on here too much because I don't even know if you guys can hear me that well. Because I have the, I have the window open waiting for the AC to get cool. Okay, now you definitely probably can't hear me. So I'll see you guys when I get there. It's so fucking hot. We're having those 
record temperatures that it's so hot that as soon as you turn the AC down from full blast, it's too hot to handle. Like it has to be like this, or you ain't even gonna. <laughs> so again, I guess fuck my talking. Real quick, I just went to 7-Eleven and got this stupid frappuccino. I'm calling it stupid because it never gives me what I'd be expecting energy-wise, but I am trying not to continue to consume so many Red Bulls because they can give you a heart attack. They're overwhelming on your heart, you know, but look, I did give me a little Red Bull for later just because I know this is not going to suffice, but before the bedtime routine and before nighttime when I really have no energy and shit's hitting the fan, I'm going to drink this. But for now, I'm hoping this gives me a little splash of energy, you know. They, you know, they say more espresso, less depresso. Not that I'm depressed, I just, I get overwhelmed, I get down, I get frustrated. Um, I'm sure moms can relate to this. I'm not one of the moms that's going to act like, yeah, everything's great, everything's so fun, it's so beautiful, life is wonderful. No. Every day I'm stressed out, every day I'm overwhelmed. Um, it's, and life is stressful with children. I ain't even gonna hold you. <laughs> and I have help. I have a lot of help. I'm okay, guys, I'm here at my appointment. The freaking camera went out because it's so hot. That's how hot it is. But I'm gonna get out of this car. I'm I, I'm hot. I'm gonna get out. I'll talk to you guys after the session. Probably at home because my camera is gonna overheat again. Okay, bye. A few moments later. So I'm back at home. Just checking in with you guys about the meditation session. It was top tier. And for the first time ever, I actually felt like I did some meditation. And I found out that uh, the reason why I probably wasn't having results is because I wasn't like doing it the right way. Like I usually lay down when I meditate or I try to do it at night, which is dumb because, um, yeah, she was basically giving me a bunch of meditative techniques and it starts with you know my posture that matters like with my feet grounded onto the planet you know to because you need to use the energy of the planet and just all kind of cool stuff but I learned a lot of tools and I'm excited to utilize them and what I mean by for the first time I feel like it actually worked like when I'm meditating I don't usually see colors and auras and things like like but actually seeing exactly what she was saying in my mind with my eyes closed so there's that we're getting ready to go to the grandma's house one, because she barbecued, which is great because I don't have to cook dinner, so we're going over there to eat dinner. Two, so we can run their motherfucking energy out. I don't care when you get there. When they when I get there, I don't give a fuck what they do. They're not my problem anymore. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, bye kids. Bye. So anyways, yeah, so we're going there so they can run around, run their little hearts out, run their energy out because it is 6.50 at 7 o'clock. So I plan on leaving there around 9. They should be all ran out, jumping on the trampoline, doing whatever they're doing. So we can come do the nighttime routine and they can go to sleep. I opted into working tomorrow, so I have to work at 10, 10 a.m. I'm doing the day shift, and yeah, that's pretty much it. The next day. Hey guys, it is the next morning. I literally just woke up. It's 8.07. Trying to get my life together because I'm tired <laughs> still. I'm gonna wash my face because I never washed my makeup off yesterday. I gotta get the kids something to eat and I have to go to work today. Three day shift today, so I actually have about an hour to do all this. <laughs> I already had these things on because I was gonna start washing my face and I forgot I was vlogging. So I was like, yeah, let me get on here because I'll be at work later tonight and not vlogging. So today the plan is to go to the gym before I go to work. The gym progress is doing good, guys. I've just been working on thighs and booty like a gym amateur because I am. I haven't been to the gym probably in like four days now, but I've been going somewhat consistently since January, so it's really paying off finally, so now I can't stop, you know? <laughs> it's, it's true what they say, like, it, it has to become a lifestyle because you'll fuck up everything you did in the gym if you just stop. Like, you can't just stop. <laughs> you can't just stop, but that's okay because it's also good for your mental health, it's health and everything, so like, I'm actually, I'm hoping I get to go to the gym. I really hope I get to go to the gym before work so i'm gonna go wash my face and let's get this day started Kobe's eating raisins yogurt raisins ah! 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 
central AC right now we don't have central AC we just have like fans in each room I have an AC unit in the back and then we have this swamp cooler up front but the pump broke and it's some bullshit so it's pretty hot but I ordered a piece to fix this swamp cooler uh, it won't be here till tomorrow so tomorrow won't be this bad but it's like 110 degrees uh, right now where we are right now it's 85 in here point is we're hot so we're about to go in the pool come on Cashy <laughs> Next day. It's Sunday. I just came from church. I got my freaking dreads out again. Look at this, guys. I was like, is this a bald spot? It, it literally is a bald spot. So, guys, I think I'm going bald. Yes, you heard right. So, look here. And I'm not sure if this is because I always pull my dreads back into the po a ponytail so much or like into braids under my wigs, but I. I don't know. I use I pulled more hair forward for baby hairs, and that's why I noticed this. I use I have never noticed this because I usually brush this hair back. I don't have these baby hairs here. As you can see, it's a lot of them. That's why I usually just brush it back. But I'm like, this can't be happening. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go online because now I'm gonna need some type of hair stuff because again, I'm not sure if it's from pulling my dreads or if this is a condition but we need to get to the bottom of this we need to get to the bottom of it it's 12 32 i go to work at three today today would have been my monday but yesterday they called me to work so it's kind of like a tuesday for me now but yeah it's all good i sound congested because i am i need to go find my nasal spray because i still cannot breathe without nasal spray like at this point i love summer i hate being cold i hate the winter but me not being able to breathe all spring slash summer because of my stupid allergies and everyone else is just walking around breathing normally no type of nasal spray no type of allergy medicine i need allergy medicine and nasal spray or it ain't gonna work i'm not going to be able to fucking breathe and i hate that for me i, I literally hate that i wish i had it. i'd rather have eczema than this allergy bullshit but anyways i got a tri-tip roast in the crock pot so that's what they're having for dinner tonight yeah i need to go get my nasal spray i'm just checking in with you guys my mother-in-law is here we're visiting so yeah my boyfriend's here today too so i'm busy chatting up spending time with people my laundry room. He requested it. Okay. Okay. Uh, we get some rice. We're going to do chicken pie. If I can deal with the poop, as long as I can flush it and clean it up. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it cut off my bone. I smoke that dope 
people know me and others don't get a load You can keep the pain in my face, but I had it deep in my soul Learn to keep my mouth shut, cause don't nobody care what's wrong What's up guys? I don't know where the hell I where the hell I'm at in the vlog. Um where where was I the last time y'all seen me? But I just got off of work and I'm in the car right now because I'm getting ready to inhale some nicotine. For YouTube purposes, we're gonna call it nicotine my little sneak a toke work was okay it was today was a monday it, it slowed down back to what like normal normal mondays are the last week um last week was crazy because we had the holiday and also our system was just getting back up so it was like it was busy all that week but this monday was slow so i was able to leave early today tomorrow i'm the late girl so i won't get to leave early at all i have to stay till 11 mandatorily so is that even a word mandatorily anyways tomorrow has to stay late so i opted into leaving today so yeah before i go on in there i'm just gonna chill i don't know something therapeutic about sitting in the car listening to music and token see and then you know once you start the stuff get all paranoid the next day hey guys what's up it's the next day it's afternoon now it's about 12 10 in the afternoon i go to work today god i mean i have so much going on i don't even know why i vlog or i'll be trying to vlog like earlier i went to go pick up my stuff from the auction i need to go take the car in to get service today so my babysitter is going to take me to go take the car in and then take me to work and then hopefully they're done in the next day or two so i don't have to be too long without a car and then i also have to work at three o'clock <laughs> my son is coming on friday so i'm gonna drive to the airport friday tomorrow's my friday i work today and the next day it's just a lot <laughs> i got coin on and yeah i have to get ready in like the next hour and a half to go drop off the car and then go to work so whatever um god i'm just i'm pretty sleepy i'm not gonna lie i'm getting congested i need to go put my nasal spray every time i get on camera it's like the devil don't want me to record then all of a sudden i can't breathe they can't talk you know but i'm on here anyways whatever just got a package from amazon and i ordered some stuff for the kids to try to entertain these fucking boys because and this is the thing like they had stuff for entertainment but they broke it they broke the xbox i'm not buying another one they broke both of their phones like not buying another one okay so i bought them some cheap fucking game from amazon it was yeah it was cheap it was like 40 dollars but it's like one of those retro game systems where you plug it into the hdmi it's supposed to be 360 plus games but the point is it's their problem that they broke the xbox it's their problem that they broke their phones i'm not going to keep on buying them this stuff so they're doing chores right now not right now presently but in general to make money back to buy if they want another phone they can buy it themselves I'm not doing it, you know, I'm just tired of boys fucking break everything, they're just so so here's this stupid Amazon package here I go in my shitty mood there's a stupid package excuse me, stupid package oh, and then I got this stupid punching bag let me stop calling things stupid yeah, so this is that little retro game system thing it looks pretty cute. And then, yeah, this is the punchy bag they got. Now, the problem is, because they argue about everything, one of them's probably gonna watch TV, one of them's probably gonna wanna play this, so I'm lucky I have this, like, little mini TV, and I'll probably use that as, like, the gaming TV. <laughs> Okay, good, they're plugged in. I'm just, yeah, honestly, the Xbox was so annoying anyways, like, with the batteries right out there. Then they would break the controllers. I'm just sick of, like, I'm not, honestly, I'm probably not going to get them an Xbox. I don't even care if they ask for it for Christmas. Like, they're just, 
They're too destructive for one. They're gonna have to save up their own money. That way if they break it, that's their problem. But yeah, I'm not doing it. So they can learn to stop breaking their stuff. And the thing is, they break it out of anger. It's not like they accidentally break it. They bang the stuff. They throw the stuff. They get angry. And that's that I'm just not condoning. <laughs> so yeah, we're just not gonna have nice things if you guys don't take care of them. So this is a little game system they're gonna have. This is one of the controllers. I don't know why one is peak. But one was pink. There was no option other than one pink controller. And then one is green. Maybe it's for the retro colors. Who knows? Look at it. It's so cute. This is the system itself. I hope they don't break this in two days, y'all. Got the HDMI cord. Seems like pretty easy setup. No internet required. That's another plus. So I'm really hoping this system is at least decent. You know, obviously it's not Xbox or anything, but kids, they just be wanting something to play. Simple little games. And fuck around and find out. Okay, let's fuck around and find out. Okay, well, so far, it seems to be a little effective. They seem to be into it on the one little game. So cross your fingers, and honestly, and it was cheap. It was cheap enough that I can buy one for cash, because he's only four, you know, and he would try to play the Xbox, but he'd re break it, and, you know, he can't play the Xbox. But I'm probably going to get one of those games for him. I also saw this Paw Patrol learning video game that connects to the TV, so I'm probably going to try that for him. But, yeah, I just wanted to find them cheap, cheaper options on, like, little games or something that they can play. And that way, if they break it, oh well, it's only forty dollars, you know. But they better, they better not fucking break it. Anyways, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. I need to, I don't know, try to meditate or something. I need to like relax a little bit before I have to go. I need to go put some makeup on. I need, to put, I just need to get myself together. So, talk to you guys later. I'm so sorry. I'm not like more enthusiastic with this vlog, but this is why these are realistic mom vlogs. Like, this is one of those weeks where there's a fucking lot going on. I need to go take the stuff out of that car. I did, like I said, I just got the stuff from the auction. Then you go take it out of the car before I go take the car in to be serviced. I'm gonna have to lift all that stuff out. My boyfriend's not here to help me. Like, it's just, it's a mess. Today is a long day for me. But that's okay. I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys. So I just did some little makeup with my hair. And yeah, remember earlier in the vlog I was telling you I'm trying to wear my locks more because my hair was like starting to bald. So I figured out why that particular spot was balding and that was because every time I tie my head scarf, I tie it right there and not right there and that exact point is where uh, that spot was. So I got to I've I've got to start wearing a bonnet, not a scarf, not something that I need to tie. Um, just a bonnet. So I'm, I'm gonna order a bonnet. I have one, but I don't like it because it's ugly. Even though I'm going to sleep, but and also the reason I stopped wearing the bonnets, they freaking come off. But I just need a different one, so I'm gonna get another one. Um, and yeah, also like because I keep um, underneath the wigs, and also when I'm not wearing the wigs, I pull the hair back tight and brush it. I'm like thinning out the new growth on my dread, so they're they're gonna like fall off if I if I keep. It. So right now I don't have it pulled very hard. I have a bunch of clips to hold the hair down because I didn't even gel it or brush it or pull the hair because it's so fragile right now. Um, I ordered some. What the fuck was it? I ordered some. Not ordered. I got some like leave-in conditioner stuff. Oh my god. Uh, so the little game system is a hit. <laughs> they only played one game. They only tried that one little Ninja Turtle game. There's 365 games on there, but they've been playing that one game for the past 30 minutes. So, whatever. I Look, that's fine. It's working. It's doing what it's supposed to do. I found Cash's tablet, so he's occupied. Kobe is watching Miss Rachel. Yeah, um, but yeah, I got them all, like... Kinda content. 
Oh, yeah, I really need an energy drink. Really bad. Actually, maybe I can go get one. Before Tanya even gets here. It's like feeling down, but also my period's coming in five days according to my app, so I know that's like part of the reason, but yeah! I get that little Red Bull, I get some pep in my step. I like this little two-piece outfit. Y'all see it? You got it? Good! Look at the boat. The thing is thing, y'all. The thing is thing. The thing is thing. I still, I haven't really been working out too heavily, but I have managed to go do my little stair master before work at least two or three times a week. Um, earlier today, I was doing the weights. I didn't finish my reps because I got busy doing stuff or whatever, but yeah, the gym life is still going good. I need to start wearing a waist trainer, though, because I have not been doing the belly at all. Okay? Yeah, I'm not. Absolutely. I'm not doing the belly at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start wearing a waist trainer though, because I want to start waist training. One, because the waist trainer is good for my back when I'm working, because I'm going to mess up my back, you know, cocktailing. So I already have my arm brace that I wear when I'm cocktailing. I'm going to wear um, the freaking, what is it called? Waist trainer thing too for my back, but also to snatch my waist. So, and also I figure that's a good way for me to wear it for eight hours a day, a few days a week, if I always wear it to work. You know, that way when I'm at home, I don't have to worry about waist training or being uncomfortable. If I make a decision to wear it four days out of the week, my four work days for eight hours while I'm working, then that's how I can get my 32 hours of waist training in. So, only problem is I don't know where it is. <laughs> I'm gonna find it. Yeah, I gotta find it. I need to go get my stuff out of the car. I'm probably, I'm gonna go get my stuff out of the car and get me a red bull. This is the memory foam mattress, and then the bed frame back there. Yeah, so I brought the stuff out of the car, and now at this point I'm just waiting for my babysitter to come. So, then we go take this car in, and then head to work. Yeah, I have absolutely no popsicles. Again, these kids, it will and are eating me out of the house and home. Okay? That's what's happening. They're eating me out of here. That's like, right now, food is the largest expense of all the bills. At this point, it's probably surpassing the rent. I'm so serious. My babysitter will be here any minute, and I'm going to head off to work. I'm going to cut this vlog short here because I'm going to get started on another one, and I don't want them to be too long. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribe. Please consider. <laughs> if you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Like the video if you can, and I'll see you all in another video. I can't ever just get through any scene without a fucking child yelling. See you guys in another video. Bye!